Hey everybody, it's me, John from JFM Development. In this video, I am going to show you how to edit video from your Gear 360 or your LG 360 cam. In this particular video, I am using the LG 360 cam. There seems to be there is a lot of confusion on how to do it because it is a very new thing. So I'm going to show you a proof of concept and generally how you put different clips together and how you export it properly. So let's get right into it. <laughs> The first thing you need to do is transfer all the videos from your camera to your phone using the app. So let's open the app and transfer all the files. This may take a while so I'm going to speed this process up. Now it's very important that you actually do this process and transfer it to your phone using the app instead of actually taking the SD card out or connecting it straight to your computer and transferring it that way. Because what happens is the app on your phone actually does all the stitching and if you don't do the stitching you're going to have big black blotches all throughout your video so this is a major important thing so let's speed this up and get through it and I'll be right back with you now that the files have been transferred from the camera to our phone now we have to transfer it to the computer so now's the time to connect the USB cable to the computer and now to the phone and you might get a prompt that says allow access to data and just press allow now on the computer side locate your Samsung Galaxy S7 or whichever phone you're using and go into the phone folder and then go to DCIM and then hit accessory cam. That's where all your 360 videos will be located. And what I like to do is I like to make my own separate folder on the desktop in order to make things clear on where my files are. And then all you have to do is drag and drop. Okay, for step number three is to open Adobe Premiere or whichever editor you're using. Now what you do from here is you select a new project. And now you can name this whatever you choose to. I'm going to do LG360 or just whatever title. Doesn't matter. It's your preference. Again, this is just a proof of concept. Okay, now you search for your file folder where all your videos are. That folder that we just drag and drop all those files that we just received from the phone. So you grab all them. You select them all and then you drag and drop it into your source folder. Okay, now so this is where all the 360 videos should reside in. And again, when I'm making this, it's not going to be... This is just a proof of concept. The order I might throw these clips in might make absolutely no sense or commit any story. I'm just proving that you can do it with all the proper stitching and with everything put together in different scenes and scenarios. So now what I'm gonna do is just throw a whole bunch of clips onto the timeline and I'll be right back. All right, so now that the clips are in the timeline, there's one last thing I wanna discuss before rendering this project. The thing I wanna discuss is titles. I've seen a lot of 360 videos or attempts at making 360 videos where people put in titles and they put it in such big and huge font where you have to literally turn around in 360 if you're using a 360, like a Gear VR, or you have to like you know scroll your finger all the way around just to read one little small sentence now if you look at the the preview of what the 360 looks like the actual video you can see it's kind of like all stretched onto one little flat spot in the viewfinder so basically what you got to do is if you look at me how i'm standing right there make a title about maybe the, that width and like just small maybe above the head so that's what i'm going to show you how to do i'm going to write a title just above my head and it's going to be really small and then once we actually send this to my device and you will be actually able to see just how big it is and that you really don't need anything more in terms of size of a title now maybe you could write more than one title of the same thing laid out on different areas so if someone is actually turned around and not actually looking at the person who's speaking in the video then they'll still be able to see the message you're trying to get across but again usually they're gonna look at the person who's talking so you know that's why I'm gonna put the title above my head so let's get that done so at this point we're towards the end where you have all the videos in the timeline I showed you the little thing about titles now it's time to export the video and here is one of the main important things so when you put it into another device or you upload it to YouTube you're actually still gonna get that 360 view and the video isn't going to get messed up so what you want to do is when you go into file 
and export, what you want to do is you want to say match source. And I know Adobe Premiere does it, which is what we're using now. I'm not sure about the other platforms because I don't use them, but you need to match the source. Everything needs to stay the same in that terms. That way, when you put it on another device, it recognizes it. So match the source. This is the biggest thing here. Besides this part, the other biggest thing is making sure you transfer the videos from your camera to your phone, then to your computer, because that's what also does the stitching. So let's let this export real quick, and then I'm going to show you the finished product on my phone and that way you can see how everything looks great like it's intended to it'll show the title it'll show the different transitions between the different spots that i did on this timeline again it's going to make no sense but it's a proof of concept so let's get this exported and i'll see you at the phone so now we're at the phone and i have the video that we just exported loaded up i sent it back from my computer and if you look you can see the title right there and notice how it's just big enough that title that I told you to write really smallly because when you view it on the computer, it has the whole wrapped around video on that little small screen. So that's why I just wrote the title just above my head and it almost takes up the whole screen. So that was the purpose of that. So now, as you can see, we can scroll around to different areas and different transitions with the different clips that I put in here and you still get the 360 video. All the stitching is still intact and everything works great. So I hope this video helped you guys out learning how to edit 360 video, at least with the LG 360 cam. It's a very new thing and I hope to see a lot more videos on YouTube with 360 cameras. It's a really cool technology. So thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I have a lot more great videos on my channel. So please subscribe so you don't miss out. And you guys have yourselves a great